Good luck, Jonathan. Finally speaks on Nigerian security. Slam Muhammad Buhari, you are not doing enough. Life and property are on the line here. Hello, my wonderful people. Good luck, Jonathan. Is a very good man. Uh, I mean, you get what I mean by that, okay? I'm not, I'm just um, trying to explain something. What I mean by that is, good luck, Jonathan is a gentle person. So that's what I mean by good man. Not good man as in good man. He's a very gentle person, okay? Even when he was the president, we know patience more than we know him. Uh, so that's how gentle he is. Have you, um, where, where, are, the, where, are, the, where are the children? There is God, oh God, oh God, oh. And so, you know, that's the woman for you. So, good luck, Jonathan is telling Buhari, you can do more. Life's on the line here, yeah, and we cannot just keep quiet and pretend that um, all is well. Honestly speaking, people are dying. Okay, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Somebody needs to tell Buhari the truth. Former President, good luck, Jonathan, has said that Nigerians' pursuit of peace cannot be achieved in isolation with the pursuit for justice and other human security needs. Call on President Muhammad Buhari to do more, especially on the security situation of the country. Lives and property are being destroyed daily. We are not oblivious to the fact that these are coming from those who threaten us as a people. And so the government owes the people a great responsibility to stand up starting from the commander-in-chief, to ensure that lives and property are safe. What is going on in the country is not acceptable. I did not conquer them, but I put up systems in place to ensure that this does not go too far. What we have today, lives and property being destroyed as though human lives are not involved, is very shameful. As a nation, we owe the people responsibility to see to it that they are safe. In Jonathan's statement on Friday in Abuja at the public presentation of a research paper titled Terrorism and Banditry, the next, what next, conclude that Jonathan, conclude by founding a Jonathan Foundation for those who have been deserted and those who bandits and kidnappers have left their life wounded and need succor. The Jonathan also, JAF, Foundation chairman said the challenging po the challenges posed by banditry terrorism and other associated crimes threatening our human existence and the existence and the essential value of our democracy and livelihood must be dealt with. Good luck, Jonathan went further to say the importance of life must be our priority, ensuring that the people get all the help they need in whatever way to be comfortable with the government goes a long way. You swore an oath to protect the people. Leaving the people in the solitude of despair, it does not speak well for a government. President Muhammad Buhari and those in authority, those who have power to make a change, must do more. If it involves us getting missionaries to help with the current predicament, it is important, it is needed. So my people, so that is good luck, Ebele Jonathan, the former president of Nigeria, who is speaking and is directing this message to the number present number one president of the country, number one citizen of the country, saying, you must do more. You are not showing concern. It's bad. People are dying. It's bad enough. The things that are going on in the country are not acceptable in any way, form or kind. You cannot fold your arms and allow people to die. I'm pretending like all is well. People are dying. People are dying. You know, I, I'm glad that Jonathan is speaking in this light because he's been very quiet and um, where he should speak, where his voice is really needed, you know, because the truth of the matter is some of those people with the opportunity God has given them is to ensure that there is safety for people. So when you have that opportunity and you do nothing about it, you, you, you disappoint those, yeah, you disappoint those who has been given who has given you the opportunity to be lead, to, to lead at one point or the other. So that's how it is. That's, you disappoint them. You disappoint them. And it ought not to be so. So in order to show to the people that you respect what they've done for you, you appreciate it, what you can do is just keeping, keeping to your promise you made to the people. 
keeping to your promise you made to them when you you know you told them you swore in an oath that you will support them in every way form or kind but sadly you have not especially your disposition is rather saying some other things what you what you mean and what you say is is contradictory so we don't even understand what is what which is which you see nigerians are dying things are going wrong things are happening yet we have a man called president who goes about having party and doing elaborate wedding and the rest, not minding that children, that your son is far older than, yeah, are in the hands of captives, you see, and even up till now, they have still not been freed. So how do we how do we sort out this problem? You know, the whole country, one area or the other, but don't, don't, I mean, confidence has since been lost on you. People do not have confidence in you, in case you're not aware. Those deceiving you that you are doing with the likes of Garuba Shewu that are around you that are deceiving you are doing well, they are your greatest enemy because those who love you will tell you the truth. You may not like it. They will tell you in the most, you know, in the most convenient way that you can understand it, that things are not well and the people are not happy. What would that propel you to do? Is it all bad news? They are not a bearer of tales of bad news, but it's just a, it's a, it's a position that brings you into the reality of what is on ground. So much so that you now rise up from that position instead of taking it as a as a as as a something against you. You take it as a, as a something you can work on. You take it as something that can be worked on. That before you know it, you transform it so that your critics today becomes the the opportunity you have for tomorrow to move on. Those who have criticized you have rather showed you your blind spots, so you take it as an action point to work on and before you know it you flip it all around that's the way to govern but guess what because this government is so i don't know the word, right word to use for it is this is this so afraid they cannot even stand criticism people say one thing and they go on looking for the people to castigate them to humiliate them and to shut their mouth at all costs so that they have not so that they they, they i mean i mean who does that? Who does that? Only Buhari and his administration. Even Abacha's regime was better. Even Abacha was better. That's how bad things are. Even Abacha's regime was better. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.